Hi guys, it's Danelle from Painted, and today I'm going to go over the different shades of blue in the Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint line. I'm going to give you a closer look at the color, how the color was named, and also what it looks like with some different top coat options. So let's go check them out. So the first shade of blue I'd like to highlight is our Yulele Sky. Yulele Sky is a almost like a greenish blue and the way it got its name it was actually named after um, a painting that Marion has in her house and the sky in the painting um, is what represented this color that she loved so much and she it's a cow painting actually and she named the cow Yulele and that's how she called this color Yulele Sky. Um, I want to show you guys also what it looks like with some different top coat options. Over here we have the antiquing wax, so you can see it really, you know, mutes down the color. The center just shows it with clear wax, and over here we have the white wax on top of it. Um, this color also pairs really well with um, linen, which is a shade of white, and also kitchen scale, which is the color we're going to talk about next. So next we have Kitchen Scale. Now this color can kind of go under either the blue family or also it kind of can go under the green family. For my eye, I kind of just pick it more towards the blues. Um, kitchen Scale was actually named after uh, antique kitchen scale that Marion, um, Miss Mustard Seed herself, once owned in her kitchen. Um, this color is absolutely beautiful. It's one of my favorites. And then let's get a close up look. Here it is with the antiquing wax again with the clear wax, and then also with the white wax. This color too goes great with a lot of the shades of white in the line. Next up we have Brigere. Brigere is a really beautiful, it's like a soft, smoky blue. Um, this color was actually named after a pair of chairs, some French style chairs, the frames of them. And to take a closer look, this color really changes when you put the antiquing wax on it. And then here it is again with the clear and it's just really nice soft shade. And then with the white wax on top for this finish effect. So that's Brigere. Here is French enamel. This is a fun, in my opinion, vibrant blue. It's kind of like a mid-tone so it's not super soft but it's not super um, deep. And French enamel was actually named after French enamel wear. The antiquing wax, the clear wax, and the white wax. And now we're going more into like our richer um, blues. So this one is flow blue. Um, flow blue received its name after um, the blue found in flow blue China. The antiquing wax, the clear, and the white wax. I just think the white wax and the antiquing wax really makes a cool effect over flow blue. But again, the color is beautiful all on its own. And the last one we have is our artissimo. And artissimo is like our deep, almost navy color blue. So if you're looking for something that's rich and deep, artissimo would be the color that you would want in this line. And then sometimes, depending on the light, it can almost look like a shade of black. And then here it is with the antiquing wax, and then you can see it really deepens it, so it gives it more of that blackened effect. And then here is more of our true navy look. And then again, we have the white wash, and this is, or I'm, I'm sorry, the white wax, and it creates a really cool um, finish. Similar to like finishes sometimes you'd see on like restoration hardware type furniture. So that's a beautiful um, top coat option for working with Artissimo. And those are the blues in the Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint line.